Hey everybody, Adam with Front Range Storm Contractors. Out here in Aurora, Colorado today on this concrete tile roof. I'm gonna do some repairs on it in a few minutes, but first I wanna take those few minutes to show you guys a few things, give you a little education. First thing we're gonna start out with today is what is hail damage to a concrete tile roof? So, most times on a concrete tile roof, you're gonna see that bottom right-hand corner chipped like that, like that, like this one, okay? And adjusters are going to try to convince you that that is not hail damage because it's really difficult to prove that that was hail damage. But they're gonna to try to say it's anything in the world besides hail damage because it's super expensive for them to pay for concrete tile roofs. They might say it's something like expansion and contraction. What they mean is that when the concrete gets hot and it expands, there's not enough room between the tiles so that one smashes into the one next to it and it breaks. That is absolutely ridiculous and let me why. Concrete barely expands at all. If there is any room for you to pick it up or wiggle it, see how that's wiggling a little bit right there? Uh, it's, it's nailed in pretty good, but if you can wiggle this, which I am, then there is plenty of room for this thing to expand and contract. They're gonna try to say it's footfall, which means somebody walked on it and caused that damage. Well, footfall damage on a concrete tile hardly ever looks like that, unless the person steps exactly on that corner, and not only exactly on that corner, but only on that corner with the very skinny side of their foot, which is just highly unlikely. A lot of times, footfall looks like this. You'll get big cracks on a big corner or the whole thing will be cracked in half somewhere, okay? Because people stepped right on the middle of it instead of stepping where they should, which is right along here. Check out my other video about where to step on a concrete tile. So, they're gonna try to give you some other excuses too heard a bunch of them but I will show you hail damage that is undeniably hail damage and I'll tell you why here's some right here <clears throat> see this one is cracked at the bottom but it's in a circular crack and it's cracked the chip that was cracked out it's also cracked in half so this was hit by something round. There's no way that it expanded into the tile next to it and cracked in a rounded shape like that, okay? Something hit it right here, come in from above. Anybody have a guess as to what that might have been? There's another one that has a rounded crack on it. Another one that has a rounded crack on it. This rounded crack isn't even all the way down at the bottom of the tile. It's a little bit further up the tile. So, somebody think that was installation? How about this one right here? Anybody think that this one was cracked while it was being installed? Or somebody stepped on it? Or it expanded into the tile next to it? Here's another one. Something actually hit it right there. Cracked in half that way, cracked it that way. Same thing goes right here. So, there's a lot of hail damage on this tile roof. There's also damage that I can't prove was hail because the corner is completely missing, knocked off. But a lot of it looks very similar. See if this one got hit right on the corner and it just knocked that chip off and the chip rolled down the roof a little bit and just went missing. Now, imagine if it hit right here and it cracked it like that, but there's nothing below here to finish off that rounded crack. That looks like hail, right? But they're gonna try to say it wasn't. They're gonna try to say it was anything else. So, if you can get ones that are a little further up the tile, like some of those ones that I showed you earlier, then it's obviously hail-related damage. And you should contact a roofer 
because it's going to be a great big fight with your insurance company on whether to pay for that roof or not. Have a good one, everybody.